Assalamu alaikum and hello YouTube. My name is Norman Muhammad from Anywatch and we are back with the full review of this awesome Boltony. Hold on, the name of <laughs> this particular model is S202466A. Yep, <laughs> quite a long name, but I'm going to be calling it my perfect vintage explorer style watch, right? From Boltony. So, why I say this is my perfect one? Let's cue the intro. Alright guys, so welcome back to my full review of this Boltony Vintage Explorer or March Watch or yeah, I just said the name just now. <laughs> anyway, so first reason number one why I think this is the per the perfect vintage um vintage explorer or March Watch for me is because of the set the set of dimensions of this particular piece. So I've been you know I've been you know using quite a lot of I've been reviewing quite a lot of uh, explorer style or March watches uh, these days and, and I for the longest time I've thought that my Saint Martin SN0021 is the perfect watch for that particular particular reason. But I still do think this is number one. But this is for the money and yeah for the build quality and everything. So yeah first thing first yeah like I mentioned just now the dimensions number one is the dimension right so 36 mil in diameter 12.4 millimeters in thickness um 43.4 millimeters lug to lug and a lug width of 20 millimeters so that means that this would fit um resizes of maybe seven to six or even five inch wrist so that's good so if you guys you know love vintage watches those are the perfect size in my opinion at least so if you do have a bigger list than mine maybe say number seven and quarter seven and a half or even eight yeah this might not suit you but for me at least this is the perfect size right so number two is the build quality so boltony has been you know known as the you know brand from aliexpress that is it's not really up there as the saint martin but it is definitely way much better than the brand like you know like um pagani design or a few other brands like that so it's in the middle so from for that you what do you get is a 316 l stainless steel uh, watch case with this you know polished bezel polished side brush stop of course it did it did came it came with a bracelet version but um you know i want to go for something a whole lot cheaper so i went for the, i went for the leather 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 strap version so yep you know for 150 bucks <laughs> how could i i just couldn't go wrong right so um build quality is nice and even they use this uh, seiko nh38 movement which is perfect for a no date watch right so even san martin right san martin guys they, they charge you about about 300 bucks for this one and they still don't give you a you know a known a no date uh, movement so yeah talking about value there right so of course like i mentioned just now i've got this for about 115 bucks of course due to a few coupons and um, the timing was right and yeah of course but this one is being sold around for about 169 but of course being um, sold on aliexpress means that you need to exploit right you need to buy it at the right time if you want to get it at the cheapest price possible so yes do uh, check out the sales and do collect all the coupons do you know uh, check the coupons from the source from the stores because sometimes people ask me hey man i couldn't get that particular price that you mentioned in the videos yes guys so do, please do whatever you need to do so collect all the coins all the coupons available so, and then you might be able to get it as per what i mentioned in my previous video so yeah um that's just the three reason guys <laughs> and of course the unique selling point of this particular watch is this is this what do you call this brown yep <coughs> it's yeah it is brown right but <laughs> they call they when in the listing they call it red but i do think that this is a brown so it looks like a perfect vintage watch and of course brown suits this um this uh pff, uh no this old style of vintage style indices and of course the c3 super Lumineva is printed which is not that good if you want something that has a, a strong loom so yeah not it's not really the end of the world but still for this style of watch i think it is enough right of course it came on a few other uh, everything i think there's another one color which is black but i've had already too many black dial watches such as this one and i think this is perfect for it and even if i think if there is something that i would like Boltony to introduce in the future is do produce it in this i know 
apply in this version and then it would be the perfect watch so maintain the case size and reduce the um, bezel thickness you see you can see here the san martin is way thinner the bezel which for me makes the watch looks bigger right so which is good because this is a small watch this is 37 this is 36 so yeah and then it would be perfect but yeah still as of now yeah this is, is good for me right um the second mission just now the uh, seiko nh38 movement hex and hand winds uh, you can just one click and boom the 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 second hand stop and yeah screwing it back in is easy so there's no grittiness to the crown which is good considering the price that i've got it for right so what do we can if i put it under the marker roll lens so how is it going to look like so i think you can see already that there's no blemishes there's no dust whatsoever under the under the macro lens so even the the printing on this indices on the hands is good so no issues there whatsoever so this is just you know typical of, of a aliexpress watches these days right so if they can do this um, sometimes yeah it's just get it's really annoying if other mainstream brand couldn't do the same so the dial is you know this tropical brown dial looks absolutely cool it's just i think a nice mix of matte plus the um what do you call it a yeah normally a mat with some kind of a um a <laughs> uh, sorry about that guys some kind of a uh, f uh polish no not finishing matte finishing but it looks nice in in anyways so boltony pre is printed in gold and automatic 760 feet in a gold equivalent to 20 meters is also in gold so but yeah still not needed in this type of case right uh, this type of watch so yeah case finishing is nice and you can see there's no um, fitting mark, mark, mark whatsoever. Oh, sorry about the, the, oh uh, God. Yeah, then, then you can see that the uh, laser etching on the B Bolton logo is nice as well. So at the back, yep, typical with this, you know, um, <laughs> it's this style of watch. Right, let's take it off. And so I've paired it, paired this particular watch on this um, top uh, leather strap from, lovewatchstrap.com so for every reason they mention this as high noon so i think maybe <laughs> i don't know what's the deal but yeah still this combination this combo top and this um, tropic brown that looks interesting in my opinion let's just put it on the wrist and see how it looks like and yeah and yeah i think that looks cool um this top uh later what do you guys think about that and i have a few other strap that i would like to show you on yeah, a few combos right so this is taupe this is brown this one was from god i just can't remember um this is a hawin leather again from aliexpress but i just can't remember the seller but i will put the name on the set and maybe some links to the to the seller and i think being a hawin leather strap it i think it gives that you know vintage um look to it and this is a you know unfinished uh, style strap and yeah i think it looks cool so okay so quick release pain so yeah what do you guys think about that so very very nice soft and supple leather strap i just can't, i just can't remember the name of this particular uh seller on aliexpress but yeah i still i will leave a link down below so that is important guys so if you guys are doing brands of straps on aliexpress please please put your names here right yeah i look i think that looks cool this is a perfect more image again so yeah that is absolutely cool in my opinion so the second strap of the day and the last but not least my favorite of the bunch which is this a garnet red leather italian leather strap from vario singapore so this is the strap that i showed during my uh, my initial review or first look at this particular watch so it somehow the this tropical brown looks really really nice with this uh, garnet red strap and um, being an italian leather strap this is a very very high quality strap in my opinion for the money right so this one is tapering from 20 to 16 million that gives it much that gives it a that you know vintage look and yeah i think it looks cool what do you guys think about that and having this you know um, polish vario buckle here just adds to the to the class of the classiness of this particular piece so let's just zoom on a bit so tropical brown on and red <laughs> i initially i thought it wouldn't didn't it couldn't work but yeah i think it looks cool in my opinion so that's just my opinion guys anyway so let's just quickly charge the loom of course 
and compare it to this particular San Martin. So being a printed, oh come on. Okay guys, so somehow the, <laughs> it just didn't work. <laughs> Sometimes shit happens, guys. Shit happens, right? So, yep, let's give it a charge. And before we do that, let's do a quick use. Yep. Okay, so somehow the torch does not work. So let's just give it some, uh, you know, UV goodness and see how it compares between these two. So are you guys, are you guys ready? Three, two, one, and boom! We've got ourselves a BGW9 Superluminova versus vintage c3 super luminova so yeah both uh, glows well in the dark but of course being a printed um dial it is of course not as strong as the applied indices on the saint martin but yeah still this is no slouch and of course being a field watch you don't really expect it to lose to last as long as a dive watch right so yeah okay let's turn back the lights on so basically what do i think of this particular watch after a month of wearing it so yeah i really really like this uh, particular style of watch i think voltany made a perfect um case for this particular style of watch so i just wish that they you know venture into a few other different dial options as well so maybe make a like i mentioned now it in apply in this version uh, and put yeah, apply in this version, it reduces the size of the bezel. And yeah, you've got a perfect watch in my opinion. Of course, I don't really like the modern um, Explorer style dial. So this is the perfect combo for me. But yeah, still, if you guys, if Boltony wanted to do a modern version, I, I, I think they could, they could, would sell a hell lot more of this particular, of this watch, right? So what do you guys think about this particular watch? And give me, please give me a big thumbs up if you want to see, if you want, if you like this video and if you want to see more future video reviews such as this one, please go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, I'll see you soon. Stay safe and bye-bye.